this is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to uh, solve two questions uh, related to uh, Unit uh, 1, Forces and Motion, uh, AP Physics. Um, if we have, uh, we need to find the net force of two uh, perpendicular forces. If I have two perpendicular forces, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem uh, says if you have a rectangle, right uh, triangle, uh, uh, right triangle rectangle, I can find the hypotenuse C square equals A square plus B square. This side is the longest side is the hypotenuse. So C is the hypotenuse. This side, this here I have the right triangle. It has two legs, leg one and leg two. So the hypotenuse is square equals leg one square plus leg two square. Or C square equals A square plus B square. If I want to find the hypotenuse, well, I'll take square root for both sides. So it will be square root A square plus B square. OK, how can we find the direction? We're going to use the tangent. So to find the direction, always we need to find the angle. So the angle theta will equal tan inverse opposite over adjacent because tan equal opposite uh, opposite over adjacent. If we take this theta, so the opposite of this theta, it will be this side adjacent to this theta, the side that is really closed to the angle is this side. Type, how about if we take this theta, this angle here? In this case, I will have different scenario. If the angle is there, if I take this angle, in this case, this will be the adjacent and this will be the opposite. This is right uh, angle. How can we find the direction? direction if the angle if we measure the angle from here between north and east and east if the angle is here so it will be north of east because we're measuring it from east how about if this angle if we measure it from north so if we take the angle from north so it will be east of north similarly if the angle is between west and north so if I take this angle, I measure the angle from west, so it will be north of west, north of west. If we measure it from north, so it will be west of north. OK, let's start with this example. And remember, always write the given, draw, and write the formula substitute. So we have a gust of wind plus an apple from a tree. As the apple falls, the gravitational force on the apple, the gravitational force on the apple is 2.25 Newton downward. So this is the first force and the direction of this force is downward. So I have an apple, the apple is falling down, the apple is falling down, let's do it right here. The value of this force is the force of the gravity, and this force equals, since it's down, it will, it since it's down, it will be negative 2.25 in Newton. Okay, up is positive, down, negative, right, we agree, positive, left will agree is negative. And the force of the wind on the apple, so I have another force of the wind or air to the right. So from the end of the first force, we're going to draw the second force. So the second force from the head of the first force, the arrow of the first force, I'm gonna draw an arrow a little bit shorter. This arrow is 1.05, you can use a ruler, okay? 1.05 to the right. So this is the force of wind. It's positive, right is positive. It will be 1.05 in Newton. Find the magnitude and the direction 
of the net force. So I need F net. I need F net. How much F net? From where we start, this is the starting point, and this is the end point. We're going to draw an arrow, and this arrow will represent the resultant force or the net force. We can call it Fn or Fr, resultant force. And since down and right, they're perpendicular, so we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So F net will equal square root negative 2.25 square plus 1.05 square. And this will equal 2.48 in Newton. Now we need to find the angle. The angle, it depends on the question. If ask me in the question, find the angle, uh, this angle between uh, north and the hypotenuse or this one. So if I choose this angle, let's, let's, let's calculate both of them. I'm going to take this one, theta. I'm going to call it theta one. All is correct. Now this angle, here I have down, <clears throat> down is south, to the right is east. Okay, so the angle theta will be tan inverse opposite over adjacent. And that will equal tan inverse opposite, side opposite to this angle is 1.05, 1.05 over the adjacent is negative 2.25. And tan inverse, I have 1.05 divided by negative 2.25. This will give us negative 25 degree. Negative it means is downward. And I measure this angle from where? From south. So it's between south, south and east. So it will, and then I measure it from south, so it will be east, east of south, east of south. Can I take this angle? Yes. If I take this one, if I take this angle, I'm going to call it theta 2, I will get different value. In this case, let's do it. If I take theta 2, Theta two, it will be tan inverse opposite over adjacent. Opposite to this angle, it will be this side, negative 2.25, negative 2.25, divided by the adjacent 1.05. And this will give us negative 64.9 degree. Now this angle, I measure it from where? I, I measure this angle from, from south. It between south and east, so it will be east, so it will be south of, I measure it from, from the east, from here, from the east, so it will be south of east. South of east, because I measure it from east. The measurement is from this side toward the east. This angle, I measure it from the south, so it will be east of south. Let's take another example. I have a wind. The wind exerts a force 452 north, north on a sailboat. So here I have a sailboat, any, any object, either you draw it as a small box or um, small point, a small circle. So here, here is I have a sailboat and there is a force toward this force toward north. The value of this force, this is the force of wind. It's 452 in Newton while the water exert a force 325 west on the sailboat, always the second force 
draw it from the head of the first force. The head of the first force is this one, so we're going to draw the second force here toward the west in this direction. The value of the arrow will be a little bit shorter because 300 is less than 400. So this is 325 and this is force of water in Newton. Now remember, I have north, down, south, here, east, and this direction, west. So this direction is west. From where we start, this is the starting point, and this is the end point. This will be the resultant or F net, and these forces, they're perpendicular. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem, find the magnitude. F net will be square root. This one, it will be negative because west is negative. Positive, negative, positive east, west, negative. So 400. 52 square plus negative 325 square, and this will give us 557 in Newton. I need theta. I need theta. It depends which angle. If I uh, suppose I take this angle, this one, so it will be theta. will equal tan inverse opposite over adjacent. Opposite to this angle is 452. 452, the adjacent is negative 325. And this will give us negative 54.3 degree. I have to specify the direction because horses is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, um, uh, a vector quantity. So the direction I measure this angle from uh, uh, it's between north and west and I measure it from west so it will be north of west north of of west. If I take this angle if I take this one in this case, it will be the opposite, negative 325, and adjacent, 452. So if I take the other one, tan inverse, this is called it one, and this is two. Both of them is correct. Either you choose this one or this one, but you have to, to specify the direction. So it will be tan inverse, negative 325, divided by 452, and this will give us negative 35.7 degree. Negative. OK, and in this case, it will be west of north, west of north. That's it.